tumbled squid sucks onto his arm. And he's like, what's happening? <laughs> and this squid starts yanking and twisting his arm, while another one sucks onto his neck. And this squid on his arm wrenches his arm so hard he dislocates his shoulder. This is a squid that's like three feet long. Humble. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and the one up here rips off part of his diving suit and mask and just starts gashing him with his beak. And the humble squid have little suction cups, but they're not just suction cups. They're jagged like little tiny teeth. Oh. So if it sucks onto you, it really hurts. So he's got like gashes all down here now, and he's 250 feet under the ocean, and he's got a squid that just dislocated his arm, and then the squid starts attacking his flippers and his feet, and they start pulling him down farther. And if you know anything about scuba diving, or even just diving in general when your ears start to pop, you have to equalize pressure inside and outside your ears, because your eardrums will rupture, and that's what happened. They yanked him down so fast that he couldn't equalize pressure, and he ruptured both his eardrums. Now, I don't know about you, <laughs> but if I just had my high men handed to me by a pack of squid, I would not be very keen to be like, cool, I'm going to go back and hang out with them again. But no, this guy was like, I want to go learn more. <laughs> <laughs> keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, I don't know. Anyhow, so he, he's like, I know, I'm going to dive this time, but I'm going to dive shallow. And... There's a clip of him, and he's talking about how he's going to dive, and it's going to be great. And he starts putting on things that you don't normally wear when you're scuba diving, like chain link armor. <laughs> like, like nice wear in the medieval times. <laughs> and he puts it over his head. So all he has doing are his goggles. Squid. And he's, he's got this chain link everywhere, and he's like, oh, it's just a protection so that if they decide to rip off my suit again, they can't gouge my skin. That's cool. <laughs> so he's, he decided, because the light irritated them last time when he turned it on, he's like, all right, I'm going to dive at night, and I'm going to use these military-grade goggles, like our night vision goggles, and since they'll be shallow, it should be fine, and I'll be able to see them. So he gets on the boat, and he jumps off the boat, and he's like 10 feet in the water, and he's good, and he's looking around, and he can't really see anything, and so he's, he's got his little walkie-talkie up to the people who are on the boat, and he's like, there's really, like, I'm not seeing them, maybe they're not out tonight, like, I'm going to come back up. So, and, he, and they were like, wait, 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 let's just turn on the light on our boat and see if there's anything in the water anyway. So he's down there like, ooh, what a, takes the night vision and goggles off, so he's not blinded when they put the lights on, and they turn the light on on the boat. And there are literally hundreds of squid surrounding him, swimming, like, touching him, and he's like, I'm going to come up now, I'm going to come, I'm going to go, I'm going to pull me back up, I'm going to leave, we're good, we're going to go, I want to go now. So he gets out of the water, and they're still learning about whether or not these things are tears. Like, that's why the calamari industry is booming in California, because fishermen start catching more squid than fish.